Dr. Alina D'Souza back at it again with some PT facts. In today's video, I want to go over my top five exercises for the elderly population. As we get older, we still need to maintain exercise to keep our physical fitness up. So we can do things like grocery shop on our own, cook on our own, stand for long periods of time, and go on walks. But as we get older, sometimes it's scary to go to the gym, especially during these times of COVID. And also, we don't know what exercises we can do at home that's safe for us to do. So today I'm going to show you five exercises that are safe for you to do at home, that you can do without equipment, and that you can do every single day. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first exercise we are going to start with is one of my personal favorites. It's sit to stand. I'm going to show you the easiest variation, progressing to the hardest variation of this exercise. So for this, all you need is a chair you commonly have to stand out of. This could be a kitchen table chair, this could be a dining room chair, a chair that you have in your living room. Go to that chair. For the easiest variation, put a pillow down or something to elevate the surface a little bit. As the chair is higher, it's easier to stand out of. A lower chair is harder to stand out of. For the first variation, have the elevated surface and use your hands. To make it more challenging, try it without using your hands. If that seems too easy, take the pillow or elevated surface away and try to stand from a lower surface using your hands. And the hardest variation, if that seems too easy, is to take your hands away and stand without any sort of elevation and without using your hands. The next exercise I'm going to show you is heel raises. For this, I want you to hold onto a counter or a chair so you have a sturdy surface in case you feel like you are getting tired or you feel yourself falling backwards. You're holding on to something to keep you upright. You can also place a chair beside you or behind you. That way, if you want to take a break or you feel tired, it's easy for you to sit down. For this one, while you're holding on to that surface, a countertop or a chair, think about going straight up in the air and lifting your heels off the ground. A common mistake people make is bending their knees and going forward. Try to avoid that and think about just going straight up into the air. The next exercise I'm going to show you is called mini squats. For this one, I still want you to hold onto that countertop or a chair, any sort of sturdy surface you have in your home. Once again, you can place a chair behind you or beside you in case you need to take a rest break. Think about sending your hips back and bending your knees. The last two exercises you can do from the comfort of your bed. I don't want you to get on the ground for these exercises as it can be hard to get off the ground. The first one is called a bridge. So you want to lay on your back with your knees bent and lift your hips up in the air. To make this one a little bit more challenging, you can also have your toes elevated so you're just pushing through your heels. This will make you use your glutes a little bit more. The last exercise will be hip abduction. So you're going to lay on your side, your bottom leg can be bent, and your top leg will be straight. Think about raising it up and back. For all of these exercises, you can aim for a set of three of 10, but if this seems easy, start at whatever level is best for you and work your way up. I hope you enjoy those top five exercises for the geriatric or elderly population. With all of those exercises, start at your level. So if a set of 10 seems challenging, start at a set of eight. But if that seems easy, go to two sets of 10 and work your way up to about three sets of 10 for each of them. It's okay to be a little sore the next day, but if soreness lasts for two days, take a step back. If you have any videos you want to see in the future, be sure to leave them down below. And always remember, exercise is medicine. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!